died, and you why shouldn't you, have mentioned the polls because I would have been much well, different. Why now? Why are you raising this issue now? Because now he's doing a little bit better. No, I didn't care before. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Hey, look, I like his honesty. He never had a chance. Now he's doing better. He's got probably a four or five percent chance. <laughs> <laughs> Before he had zero percent chance, and now he's all the way up to four or five. five. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you, oh, thank you, Mr. Even <laughs> Cruz is laughing. Yeah, Cruz is laughing. laughing. I was well, uh, nail, nail it. The, the fact is, there's a big overhang. There's a big question mark on your head. And you can't do that to the party. You really can't. You can't do that to the party. You have to have certainty. Even if it was a 1% chance, and it's far greater than 1%, because he wasn't born. I mean, you have great constitutional lawyers that say you can't run. If there was a, and, the, and you That's know, a good point. I'm not bringing a suit, I promise. But the Democrats are. That was solid. It was a good point. Even if there's only a 1% chance, which I think it's a greater percent, but even if there's only a 1% chance that this could end up ending your run as president because of just an ineligibility issue, we need to vet that. I'm not bringing a suit. I promise. I promise that I'm not going to do it. I'm now gonna... he needs to... Now he, he's already taken himself out. Yeah. Because if he does bring the suit, all Ted Cruz has to do is bring it back up. Hey, hey! You said you, you lied. You said you wouldn't follow the Constitution. You lied. <laughs> oh, okay. You Going promised me. Yeah, right. I want to get to this one part where Cruz comes back and what he says just kind of makes right. me cringe. A lawsuit, and you can You have to have certainty. You can't have a question. I can agree with you or not, but you can't have a question over your head. Senator, you want to respond? Well, listen, I've spent my entire life defending the Constitution before the U.S. Supreme Court, and I'll tell you, I'm not going to be taking legal advice from Donald Trump. You don't Trump. have to. Take it from Lawrence Tribe. Did you he hear? says, take it from Lawrence Tribe. Don't take it from me. Take he it from a guy named Lawrence Tribe. Instantly. It's like he knew. I don't know if he knew it was coming or if his brain has the clacking, clicking sound of Robbie the Robot. Right, right. <laughs> but has, like, way more processing power. Right. Because he shot that response out so quick, and it was the perfect response. You don't have to take my advice. I'm not going to take advice from from uh, Donald Trump. You don't have to. No. Instantly. You don't have to. Don't take my advice. Take the advice of the guy who knows it all. And I think the name he threw out, the name's not, not important. It's, the name will become important. But that Lawrence Tribe, whatever he said. But this is the part that I want you to hear where Cruz comes back at the constitutional scholar that Trump is throwing out. Okay. Well, I'll tell you all. Take it from your professor. Your well, professor. I will Take tell it from you your own also. professor. I, I, I can the tell you chances one thing. of any litigation proceeding and succeeding on this are zero. Now, Mr. Trump wrong. is very focused on Larry Tribe. Let me tell you who. Okay, Larry Tribe. Larry Tribe, okay. He's going to tell you who he is. Okay. Larry Tribe is. He's a left-wing judicial activist Harvard Law professor who was Al Gore's lawyer in Bush versus Gore. He's a major Hillary Clinton supporter, and there's a reason why Hillary's supporters are echoing Donald's attacks on me. He because is not Hillary the only one. Wants he to is face not Donald the only Trump one. In the there general are many election. lawyers. Okay, 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 okay. He said he's uh, the uh, Hillary uh, ites are echoing Donald Trump because they want Hillary to face Trump in the election, meaning that she couldn't be Cruz, which is not true. So we'll get to those numbers later on. But here's here's what he just tried to do in my mind. He just tried to link Al versus Bush, Gore versus Bush. He tried to link all the bad left wing liberal. Uh, lawyers who come out those sleazy, dirty, they're trickery and they lie and they cheat and they steal. Look at Hillary. And he tried to throw that in as Trump's camp. Uh, yes, he did. He did actually do just that. I he said that's part of Trump's camp. Right. Yep. He tried to do that, and I think he did a damn good job of it, He too. did. He did. It's How not honest. It's not true. Right. But, but uh, you know. Trump says don't take his advice. Take, there's plenty of them out there. I'll tell you what. This take your is, choice. Everybody said that he did such a masterful job of uh, answering these questions, which I'm glad he answered them directly. 
But you know, I got a little bit different feelings about Cruz now because it's he uh, he's been put in a very uncomfortable place. He's always had the position of absolute power when it comes to debates up until now. Right now, he's like reeling. It's like watching. Mike Tyson against uh, uh, Lennox Lewis. No, no, no. Before that, when everybody thought he was completely invincible, James Buster Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. Um, everybody was Ugh. like, "Well, nobody's ever going to beat Tyson because he's not even human. Just, he's not even human, and Buster Douglas is not even. It's just a, not even worth it. But it doesn't matter whether it's Buster Douglas or not. The the fact of the matter was, is I thought of Cruz as a debate version of Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson oh. back in eighty eight, eighty nine, right. and here he is. Looking a little punch drunk, bouncing off the ropes. Wow, he yeah. caught him punch drunk. Yeah, just kind of like, well, is he going to go down? Drifting, he's, he's really. Drifting. He's drifting. He's, he's drifting. He's out oh, on his feet. Oh no. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's that bad. <laughs> right, right. So, so this whole thing just really, it got me going. It got me kind of tense, and I'm like, you know, this just isn't the way. Cruz should go out. He really does need, as we've said this whole well, if time. He, if he goes he needs out to that step way, it up. if he goes out that way, it needs to be decided or figured out early. We right. don't need to be kind of just. You know what they did? Everything they did on the Democrat side with regard to Obama was okay. This is the worst candidate in American history, hands down. Without any, he, he has. Here is a former weed smoker who's uh, just. All kinds of problems. Who? Obama. 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 All well, these, they they, they say it's not even weed. There's, there's more, more hardcore drugs than just the weed. That, well, there, there's right. that, but then just all the other things. His his strong and repeated connections with communism over the years, and just everything. The hatred of America. There's a man that they're trying to snub out. That's a gay man, and he says that he was Obama's. Oh, well, see, I didn't even know anything back, about that. But uh, Back at college. But let's just say we didn't – there was no knowledge of that. Which is fine, whatever. Here's my point. My point is is that the Democrats decided – oh, and the, uh, the birther issue. Right. The, no, of course. The, right. They decided we're going to go ahead and just act like it didn't happen. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Nothing, There's to, see nothing here. to see They went out and bought up all of his books, which had all kinds of passages in it that were just completely incriminating with, with regards to – would anybody else would have been thrown out of the candidacy if it was anybody? Else? Oh, My easily, point is, easily. That's what the Democrats did, and it worked. And I feel like, right or wrong, Cruz and anybody who wants to support Cruz is going to try to borrow from the Obama candidacy book of ignoring major problems of your eligibility. Right. And I'm not saying being a communist makes you ineligible, but people knowing that that's what your views are. Everybody's talking about Bernie Sanders is a socialist and he admits it, but that doesn't make him a communist. He just certainly is a communist. <laughs> We've already <laughs> right. explained on, on previous episodes of the show, probably multiple, right. that a socialist is a communist. It's just on that road. He's just on the road. On In the, fact, the name of the road is called Socialist. Yeah. Socialist Lane. And the destination is, is a city called communism. Yeah, it's a cul-de-sac. It's, a, it's, a, cul-de-sac. <laughs> it's a dead end. It's a, it is. It's a cul-de-sac, baby. And it's a big, giant factory. And you can't it's turn a around. sweatshop. And there's a big, giant sign that says, it's no U-turn. No it's U-turn. a one-way dead end street <laughs> to communism. Can't turn this oh. bus around, baby. And the only way out of that cul-de-sac is for the for the factory to collapse on itself, <laughs> collapse on the road, and you have a four-wheel drive vehicle to get you out of the mud. Right. It's the only way. The other issue I have with Ted that came up, or this was this oh, was a... Oh. You talking about the uh, loan? Did you hear about his loan? Yeah, I did hear about that, but I was going somewhere else. But go okay. ahead if you want to go on that. Well, real quick, yeah. um, all during the week, uh, they said, whoa, turns out... I know we're not going to wait till October. We'll just make it a January surprise. Surprise! Uh, uh, he took out like this five hundred thousand dollar loan, something like that. half a million dollars for his candidacy before uh, the, the for Senate. And you're supposed to disclose that, and he didn't, and that's a huge no no. He addressed it at the the debate, and he said 
here's what you need to know about the the loan because it sounded really bad. He said, "I'm poor, and I don't know what to do." No, 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 no. that's how he started off. That's how he started off. He said, "I got the five hundred thousand dollar loan, so we can make this happen," and I disclosed it on this paper that you're required, and also this this form that I filled out is public. Everybody can go and see that I disclosed it on this form. However, he disclosed it after he was no, supposed to disclose it. He disclosed it instantly, immediately. It was disclosed right off the bat. However, there's a second form. Did, Oops. Didn't know about the second form. But if you go back, you see he declared it on the first form, which means he wasn't trying to hide it. Right. The right. whole point of him not disclosing it on this other form was was that it implied that he was trying to hide it. He was trying to thread the needle. No, I, what, do you, what the needle are we thread? <laughs> he had his britches and need stitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you, um, if you know that there's two forms to fill out, or three forms to fill out, but the first form or the first two forms aren't really... By the way, full disclosure, Brian is a Master of hacking away through bureaucracies and red tape. In fact, he loves it. I'm just, I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying. If if you do, you got to do A, B, and C. Right, right. And you initially do A. Okay. And you do B halfway, or maybe you do it, and you know you don't do C because if you do C, it's all on the table. However. I could show a paper trail. I I started it. I just forgot. I just. <laughs> oh, Your Honor, you're, you're really. My you, dog ate the third page. Oh, but th in his case, it was only two. I'm two trying pages. to be honest. Okay, so two pages. I'm I, look. Must have got lost in the shuffle. Had to been. I used a postage stamp <laughs> letter, and it must have the, the postal service. Oh, I would definitely blame it on that. <laughs> <laughs> postal service. Somebody in there went postal. Right. Well, the dog went after the postman. <laughs> he ended up eating it. It's all done. It's done. It's, that, in, it's, it's in the mail. <laughs> I may have forgot to put a stamp on it. <laughs> oh, that was that time when the postage went from 37 to 39. Oh, and you didn't do a 39. You didn't do two extra yeah, sets. So they put it on hold, and now it's in some warehouse. And they were looking at the ark. Right, right. The they're, 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 they're trying to return it to <laughs> him. But he didn't put a return address oh, at the oh, top. So it's in limbo. Wow. So your argument is that he, the fact that he didn't do that second <laughs> form is incriminating. Absolutely. Are you projecting? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> because I'll tell you what I would have done. Uh, no, folks. Uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay. I'll so, tell you what I did do. Did oh. <laughs> we got a misconception of a concept here. Your Honor, I ch clearly <laughs> attempted to disclose all of this. Clearly. It's it's crystal clear. It's a public That I thing. used 100% of my effort to disclose. I tried 100% to disclose the best, 100%. This is the best I could do. <laughs> I've, I left everything out there. I'm limited. <laughs> I'm, I'm disabled. <laughs> Somebody, you guys, would you ever hit a man with glasses? When did you stop beating your wife? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so here's, the, on. here's the other thing that broke loose this week with uh, having to do with Ted Cruz. Whoa, every <laughs> single episode you do that. A couple things that you can always count on to really resonate with potential voters. One. Okay, sorry about that. Let me preface all this. Yeah, I need back to know what up, the heck back you're up, talking back about. Back up. Okay. Here's what happened. Um, we've got... Um, oh, there are no notes on it, but I know what it is. It's a um, CBSN. I don't know what na network that is. CBSN. That sounds like all of them jammed together. Right. So they're... they're a hybrid. They have a panel, and they're talking about this Ted Cruz thing, and... and um, and then they, they, they play the, the sound clip. So, But I just wanted you to hear what she says in the beginning. What she says in the beginning. I just want you to hear. I'd like for you guys to hear these establishment left-wing nutjob media people. 
and the words they use. Because I want you to understand when they say these things, you got your, your radar up and you can hear it when it comes right. at you. 